You left out Pritzker. I mean, that was that was what was the most amazing a minute ago. So they had Sanders out here trying to defenestrate all the billionaires, and it's ladies and gentlemen, here comes three and a half billion dollar. <laughs> yeah, but Pritzker. of course he he made the point that I'm a billionaire who understands what the proper role of government should be. The, dual so, the duality of Democrats. He said, take it from a real now, billionaire, which was a pretty good line, actually. We, we, we have a, a broad party. You, you, had, you had Bernie Sanders with his view. You've got one of the, the great uh, titans of industry here, Pritzker. This is a party that has room for you. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. The Democrats had people who prosecuted sexual predators and... Oh! <laughs> What's going on guys we got to react to john stewart calling out the hypocrisy of the left so he's doing the work for us here because even a leftist like john stewart who is extremely trump deranged make no mistake even he can see that the radical left are a bunch of hypocrites case in point bernie sanders railing against millionaires and billionaires and then immediately being followed up by the governor of illinois who is a billionaire who stated himself that he was a billionaire the top one percent have never ever had it so good fine we need an economy that works for all of us not just the billionaire class. 12 seconds later. Thinks that we should trust him on the economy because he claims to be very rich. But take it from an actual billionaire. Now let's go ahead and get into this. Now there may be some pausing along the way because they like the copyright stuff. You have been warned. They had a guy yelling, screw the billionaires. <laughs> Followed immediately by a very happy billionaire. Link, link, I don't have a clue what you're saying. It's all okay if it's our billionaire. <laughs> I mean, where's the lie? <laughs> had people who prosecuted sexual predators and no they didn't do bill like why you do bill like that there, there goes that booking. <laughs> Bro, I can't breathe. They had guys making fun of people for going to Yale and a bunch of people who went to Yale. <laughs> they had black Americans, Hispanic Americans, Asian Americans, gay Americans, Jewish Americans, Palestinian Amer Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. To be fair, it was only four nights, eight hours a night. Guys, this is just silly. Now, obviously, yeah, he was pointing out hypocrisy. We could point out a lot of hypocrisy of the left, for example, arguing in favor of democracy while simultaneously trying to remove Trump from the ballot, trying to get him locked up, not hosting any debates and having a rigged primary removing joe biden at the end after the primary and then installing kamala harris right there's a lot of things we could call them out in regard to hypocrisy the sad thing here is i think that a lot of people realize all this hypocrisy exists a lot of people i'm sure watch the daily show with john stewart and they watch the news they're aware that a lot of democrat hypocrisy occurs but they just don't care now why that is i don't know perhaps it's because of one of the things that john Stewart didn't talk about that much is that orange man is bad. Their hatred for Donald Trump is basically overwhelming their ability to think cognitively and make good decisions. But as it relates to me and the majority of Americans, we're going to make sure that Trump wins because we want lower gas prices, lower food prices, affordable rent, and so forth. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, we don't want to get nuked by Russia or China or Iran. Those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate y'all watching the Black Anomaly Rising channel. I'm out. That's always good for politics. You know what really works? A Jewish guy that sounds like a black guy. <laughs>